Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, just going through a few thoughts as well. Um, this is my new updated side just for this minute. I could change um, quite a few times. I do like this setup though, because it means I do get Dacos and Dawson potential captains as well. Um, the only other scenario, like, so I've downgraded, so I've downgraded set field to Michelini, which I put Ginby in the midfield. So I still get a bit of cash as well and keep Ginby as well. And I keep Jones in this scenario. Um, and then I've got Dawson and Dacos. Let me know what you guys really think about this scenario. Maybe it looks nice because you've got Dawson and Dacos, probably the number one and three uh, players in the comp for the defensive line and it's starting to look like a little bit better. But I do lose Setterfield. Uh, the other, other scenario was I was going to go Doherty to Duncan which then I was going to downgrade Jones to a Young and then have Setterfield to a Pendlebury. Um, and then that was going to have an extra midfielder rather than having these two guys. So there was this, but that's, this is still cash generation. So, um, and we still keep Jones. I mean, Jones just needs to score an 80 plus. Uh, he gets well back on the track to make us some more money. So um, there was that scenario. Um, even putting Duncan in the side and VCing him or, you know, I'm just thinking he might go nuts. He he's actually got. If you have watch the last three games he played against the opponent that he's playing against. I forget who he's playing against. But on Supercoach, when you have a look at the last three uh, games he's played, he's scored like at least 130, 140 for at least two of them. So that's definitely a captain scenario. It's a little bit off speed as well. So if you've actually got the balls to do it, maybe it could be a go. I'm still contemplating it. It could be pretty funny. If it was a Friday game or a th if it was if Duncan was playing tonight, it's definitely one of the moves I like to do. Trying to get the VC done early, but um, but this is the case where I could put the VC in Dawson. So um, I do like making plays, and you know if if Grundy was playing tonight, I'd probably get Grundy in the field because it just seems that sometimes uh, Champion Data seems to enjoy the new players coming in that night and they just give them extra points. I, I don't know about you, but that's just how I feel sometimes. They get a little bit biased towards certain players when they're a little bit favourites to join everyone's team. So, yeah. So this is the new one for this minute. Um, then I could change it to, you know, Duncan and Lloyd in the back line. But the problem with there is it doesn't really give me a captain's uh, thing. And I think Marshall... Instead of going Marshall to Grundy, I mean, someone said it really good. I mean, if you're going to trade Marshall to Grundy, it's a waste of a trade, and Grundy's not going to make too much cash. He's going to make a little bit of cash, but it is a waste of trade as well. And you could possibly, later in the, the game, like in, later in the season, probably need that trade, especially if someone's going to go down. I mean, it seems like every week a new injury is occurring. I mean, if I give you the list of uh, injuries I've had this year, I mean, just to run a few off, Fife, Kelly, Doherty, Stewart, uh, who else we got? Flanders, Fife, oh, I probably said Fife already. Uh, Steele, I had, St I had Jack Steele as well. That's another one. Uh, there's still more. I haven't, I can't even think of all of them. That's how nuts. Kelly, I had Kelly as well, who's got injured. Uh, it, there's still someone I'm missing, surely. Um, it just seems, it's just dramatic here. Just how many injuries you got. But yeah, just going forward with my team, I mean, I just need to fix up the captains. I mean, if I had a, a even if an English or if even if I had, you know, instead of McRae, I had Oliver, how much my team would have scored because I would have had that captain right so many times this, this like so many of these trades. And that could have been a difference between a couple of hundred points and, you know, all of a sudden a couple of hundred points on top. I'm, I'm well in the rankings <laughs> because I'm not... The players that I've got aren't scoring that bad. It's just that I've got no captains to actually go against. Um, I did have Ridley and Rioli that were underwhelming, but Rioli did bounce back. So who knows? Um, what will help me, though, in the future is if Rioli starts to keep scoring like this, if he starts scoring 130s, 120s, all of a, all of a sudden everyone thinks, so oh, he's a must-have, or you know, people start going for him, and then I can go for someone else that someone else has had or doesn't have. Um, and then they waste the trade with someone I've already got. So it means that's how it all works. Um, if you keep chasing what the first person's got, you're not going to catch up to them because you already got. You're just going after what they've already got. And, and that's also like the problem with this team. I mean, if you're chasing points, it's like the stock market. 
if you're going for some, you know usually what happens is a stock market uh you know a stock will go up 20 percent in the day which could be huge so then everyone the next day jumps on board or right at the end of the day jumps on board and then what comes next is this big sell-off so do you you know you buy high sell low and that that's really not what you want um so that's the other theory as well do you still jump on dawson thinking he's now he's scored huge is he going to start going downwards because you know he's already scored his his number one score of the year it's, it's the same as kelly kelly was known to get those odd 200 games but once he got it he wasn't going to get it again but everyone jumped on board probably the week after just not to get that score again um so there's a bit in in that for everyone but with dawson he's not really that expensive like he's still 618,000. but could he get 120s and 130s sure he could i definitely need some players to get 120 plus and i think dacos and dawson could be those guys just to help me beef up to get those captains right i mean darcy's done the play right as well Marshall's got a weak opponent this week, could, but then he could get subbed again. Uh, uh, is there so much that can go wrong with this? Uh, I mean, VCing the wrong person, captaining the wrong person, wrong person. I'm just dribbling on now. It, it's just that season where it's just headache after headache. And, you know, unless you've got English, Oliver, and, you know, yeah, day cost from the start, you know, we've all been feeling it. But those three guys, if you had from this very start, which I could have potentially really had those three guys from the start, would have been all right. Oh, I did forget about Gorn as well. Gorn was injured as well. Anyway, I don't have... Did I have Gorn? Yeah, no, I didn't have Gorn. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, and I did waffle on, so sorry about that. Thanks for the support, guys, and, yeah, just go Blues. Let's see if they win against Adelaide. Funny thing is, Adelaide have not lost against Carlton in the Adelaide Oval. But you know what? Carlton looked pretty strong and improved their list over the course of the last couple of years. So I'm still going to tip the Blues this year, uh, especially this uh, this round. Anyway, see you guys. Bye.